freedom as a man. I don't know how do we collab. So somebody who's kind of got a shout out. Why are where are the men? Why aren't we here? What's the deal? So give a shout. It just doesn't matter because this is provocative. Okay. Sir, we're not quite sure if that's the right question or table. Uh, we think that there's a lot of men in administration and we're wondering why that might be an imbalance on that side. So you're you're moving away from the provocative question to kind of realign it to, you know what's gotta be men in administration. Okay, that's that's fine. We were just talking to that a lot of um you know, like if you're in the math and science area, you're going to be pushed into your engineering and into your, you're not staying at the education. Okay. Let's have that conversation. Up Beautiful. Here. Oh, we got some bounces. Good. Go. Cool. I feel like um, way back in those 1860s, 1870s times, uh, gender assignment was really uh, attributed to a lot of job titles. So it was a uh, teaching with a female job, as like nursing may have been a female job at one point. And so we were kind of talking about over time how. Um, you know, men have come into the profession and never really gone past that. And then we also narrowed it down to men being lazy. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> well, let me, let me bounce that just for a second. Let me go back. It's good. Back to Carol's point. So what's the big gap between this and the professional education school, K-12? How come we haven't sold education to young men? Literally, you have to sell education, right? How come we keep, we, and I'm included in this, so I'm not extracting myself out. Why do we keep saying that? This really isn't a profession. It's kind of an occupation. I mean, I'm just throwing up. Yes, go. Okay. So here's 
my next provocative question. I mean, you almost got them. Because if I talk about we're all men, then it's a bigger question. I've seen this in almost every conference. I went to Tires last year. I don't know, 4,000 people? Maybe? And I sat and I watched. And I said, Sir, some of you maybe. I have. I've run them. I was for 10 years a learning communities facilitator. Yeah, I worked at Hamlin for a while. And I went. Both my uh, administrative degrees are from here. My superintendent's license and my principal's license. And I can tell you it was predominantly white in those courses. So where are our colleagues that are not here represented? Jump into that for 30 seconds, 45 seconds, go. 